Welcome back, folks, to Age of Lemuria. We're here with Uno and Adrian. And what's been happening, man? What's been happening? Things don't look so good. <laughs> um, we just broke out of prison, thanks to a single piece of carrot. <laughs> uh, you gotta give him more than that, man. You gotta give him more to that. What's been going on? Um, we've lost Aura. She's disappeared into the grounds. So we don't know where she is. We managed to spray and pray our way out of there using burning hands mostly. We managed to get all of our items back. We just need to get somewhere safe and have a nice rest. But unfortunately, Dice does not seem to be working. Like at the beginning, everything was going good, right? And killed the guards, got his stuff back. Like he's he's now high on the horse. He still doesn't have his gold yet. Um, while he's traveling the streets, while Adrian's traveling the streets, uh, he stumbled upon a uh, pack of guards who are currently looking for him. He tries to hide from from their staring gaze, and of course, he uh, once again activates them. You know, it's like because the bells like ringing and everything else. People are like shutting windows and barring doors, and people are seem to be in a panic. And everybody's going inside. There's a heretic on the loose. He's crazy. Uh, it's currently been an hour into the chase since they have escaped, and he had met the sister. He still doesn't know her name, but he met the sister and fled. Um, to be fair, I did kill like five people, so it makes sense. He did. He started murderizing people. Yeah, who knew that just killing everybody uh, causes causes people to panic, get upset. Uh, Adrian, uh, as you're walking down the street, you stumble upon these guards who are currently unaware of you, but are likely to spot you very soon. They seem to be talking among themselves like, oh great, we're on uh, sewer duty. Make sure okay. that, make sure you, make sure you keep an eye out for any heretics or anybody who's trying to escape. Uh, it's your turn. All right. These barrels. Can I try and climb up into the roof of this building? You may, yes. However, failure will alert them to your presence. So go ahead so and I have to get... in acrobatics as you're trying to climb up there. I have to get across this place, right? Uh, yes. Acrobatics. There we go. Uh, so the guard right here, he's like, what was that? And the other guard's like, uh, it's probably some stupid cat. Keep your eyes on the uh, uh, sewers. So apparently you have had one failure. You need at least three to pass before the guards are aware of you. So as you're up here, what are you doing? They currently are like semi-alert, so they're kind of like, what was that? They're like looking around and he's like, oh, it's just a cat. Okay. okay. I am going to walk along the rooftop, Assassin's Creed style, okay. with my hood up. And where you're heading. Okay. So, along here, I guess. Excellent. Go ahead and roll and get a stealth as you're. That's good. Second failure, go. God damn it. <laughs> uh, it's two out of three. Um, so the guards are kind of like, hey, hey, go check it out, right? So this, this flash is like coming down here. It's like, I, I hear something. One, two, three, four, five, six. It wasn't the cat. I'm telling you, it wasn't the cat. So go ahead and roll me. What are you doing now? Walk over the, the uh, roof. Excellent. Just skulking around. Yeah, it sounds like another stealth roll to me. Because they're, they're all looking at the sewer, right? So yeah, I'm... most of them are currently watching the sewer and just keeping an eye out. Excellent, you've got one success. Jeez. Yay! <sighs> Keep I'm going to come up, come up to here. Excellent. Can I make this jump? That is the question. Uh, you tell me. Uh, what would you like to do? It sounds like an acrobatics or an athletics. It's Let me a 10-foot 
jump, so it's a DC 10. Running, okay, so I need to get, I'm looking at the, the rules for uh, jumping now. Mm -hmm. I need to get a running start in order to do 10 feet. Excellent. Wait, hang on. I don't think I, I even can make it. I can only make nine feet. <laughs> Is it your strength? That's my strength. It's yeah. your strength. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, because I'll, I'll allow it. Because this is kind of like a special side mission. Uh, go ahead and roll me a strength check. Uh, it's DC ten. If you have uh, 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 athletics, add that to it. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, you're making it cross. Not a problem. You just pull yourself over the edge, like ah. So you're like, so this is like this, like right. So you're like, oh, oh, and you're like, oh, and you grab it onto the edge, and you're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, and you just like manage to do a pull up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that. Man. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing like the, the bard, the rogue, and all of that. All is uh, one guy. You make you make uh, two successes, two failures. This next dice roll will make or break you. What would you like to do? Stealth away. Excellent. Go ahead and stealth, stealth away as you make your last. Stealth check. Yep. Stealth away. <laughs> oh, no! Stealth away. So tell me how you flub up. Tell me how this, like, so this is an adventure action movie, right? Tell me how you flub up. <laughs> A roof, a loose roof tile, just falls off the roof and clatters to the floor with a so, crack. So yes, excellent, excellent. So your foot uh, is very Hellenistic, right? So these are clay uh, roof tops. No one's so, supposed to be walking up here. Yeah. So you, your your foot slips, and one of the tiles goes, and everybody's just like, <laughs> everybody just looks at that, and then the tile like falls off and like crashes, and everybody's like, what's that? Who's there? Uh, you see everybody start pulling out longbows. The flagellants cannot get to you currently, but they are investigating you. And these uh, alkalites start pulling out bows. Uh, what do you do? Okay. I'm thinking if I get to the other side of here... You just need to make it to the edge. That's all you have to do. You have to make it to the edge. But I think they're going to at least get one round of firing on you. Okay, I'm going to dash in that Sounds case. good to me. So 60 feet of movement, let's zoom out so I can see. Move up a bit. 50, 60. Excellent. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to have disadvantage. Uh, they're going to have disadvantage and they're going to attack you. Uh, taking lowest. As they start firing <laughs> up at you. Like, however, you have like, uh, not, not total cover, you have full cover. So you do a, so you can either take the Full cover, or you can have them shoot at disadvantage. Which one would you like? Uh, disadvantage, I guess. Okay. So there's three of them. They're going to fire six shots of you. Six D twenty. Why did I? Why did I say that? Like this is the um, this then, is the crossbow yeah. thing level again. Yep. So miss, miss. That's a fifteen. What's your AC? Fifteen doesn't hit. My okay. AC is weak. It must overcome it. Yes. So this arrow just goes whoosh, but it's just blocked by your uh, um, uh, ma uh, mage armor. And you're like, oh, 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 oh. and you keep running, right? And they're like, guards, guards. All right, let's see if you can get away from them. You're back up to your uh, uh, stealth or survival. What would you like to do? I would like to survive. Okay. Excellent. Uh, where are you heading? To roof, I guess. Yeah, so you're you're making it. You pass several guards who were on your trail, but then they they lose you in the uh, Assassin Creed style, like, oh, where'd they go? Oh. <laughs> just jump into the barrel of paint. Yep, yep, just just jumped into the, and then oh, boom, they disappeared. Right. Uh, so they do spot you. So they are aware of you. What do you, what's your plan? Where where are you going? I don't want to go in the sewer. Okay, so that's where the crap goes there. Ah, uh, that's just um, lore and legend. You don't know what's down there. Let's go to the stables where we left Jack at. 
Little Joe. Joe. Little Joe. Yes. You head towards the stables where Little Joe is still penned up. The innkeeper or the stable master is like, well, hello. Still hello. Have seven more days. What's up? Kind of weird. He like looks out and he's like, you know what's going on? Something's happening. He's got the oh, it's... Inquisition all in a Twitter. Yeah, Inquisition is bad for business, so we're going to, you know, pick up and, you know, move somewhere else. Uh, where, where are you heading? <laughs> uh, not sure yet. It's hopefully somewhere warm. Uh, I've, I hope uh, little Joe hasn't been a hassle. I know he can be a little grumpy sometimes. He's a good horse. He like pats him. Just got to know how to treat him right. He likes his oats and apples. Say, um, I was going by the Splavers Market. Do they move every so often, or are they, or are they gone? Or are they still there? Well, as I understand, uh, <laughs> I don't hang out with those folks, and they are uh, vagrants. They wander around. I don't know. Why? Well, one of them stole some money of mine, so I was like... Oh, a theft, huh? You should report that to the Inquisition. You want me to go get them? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Oh, okay. Was it a private affair? Wink, wink. Hey, don't judge me, man. I, I, Come on. I, I, each to his own, each to his own. What's your vice? What's your vice? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be taking this horse now. <laughs> you know, maybe... Uh, so he starts, like, getting out the coppers that you paid in front, and he starts handing it back to you. Okay. I'll take him. Okay. How much copper did I lose? Uh, you lost only, what, two copper? Okay. Pretty sure I have no money. Anyway, so, ha I've got some copper now. You got five copper. Yep. Actually, you've got your silver back, you've got your copper back. The only thing that uh, more took was your gold. Hey, do you know if there are any money lenders around here? Like, change silver into gold pieces and stuff. It's just a lot to carry around. Uh, so you want to go shopping? Is that what you're saying? No, I just need some change. Change? Like, like, what type of change? Like, trying to get a loan? Trying to buy something? What are you trying to do? Have, I have a lot of silver coins and I need to trade them in so they care, they weigh less. Mm. Oh, money, money, money changers, yeah. Yeah, if you go, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. He, like, gets out a map and starts laying it out in front of you. Uh, it's very detailed. It shows you the big city. Where are you currently at? A big city. He says, um, <clears throat> there's several places you could go to. Uh, let's see here. Uh, gems and jewels should have enough money to exchange what you want. There's also the pair of dice in. There's also the chains workshop. Uh, the key. Uh, let me see what else is here. Uh, of course, uh, you could always go to the Iron Gates and the Archway to uh, the Holy Master. Those guys uh, will, will do you right. All right, I'll bear that in mind. Um, just want to check: Do the Inquisition get bust up like this often? Like, how long does it sort of last? Like a week? Well, let's see here. Um, uh, depends on what they're upset about. I don't know. <laughs> Mind you, like, he's, he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, you, I imagine it's... It's only know, been, like, a, a couple of hours, yep. And, like, people are, like, rumoring, like, oh, we're under attack, or... No, like, you know, it's all gossip. They're not sure what's going on. Okay. But it is a warning um, bell, like ding, ding, ding. 
After the first hour, it stopped. Do they close the city gates or anything? Or do they, like, check the goods going in and out? Uh, so you know that the first interior uh, location has been shut off, right? Uh, but the exterior is like a big sprawl, and there's no way to shut that location off, right? Good to know. So only like the interior, I think nine levels, are, have been closed off. Okay. In that case, let's go back to the slavers market. Um, with my horse so Little Joe's accompanying you so I'm like riding in the back of my wagon with my hood pulled up just trying to be inconspicuous uh, of course you have several offerings hey man you selling your horse you selling your wagon hey what's that in the back you selling that uh, honey mead what you doing there's several <laughs> offers I mean, I have things in the back I need to sell, so sure, I'll sell them. Uh, excellent. Um, what are you selling? I have... Um... Dimitars, leather armor, a morning star, a... some bolts, uh, the honeymead, I think that's it. That's okay. all I want to sell, because the rest is like stuff I want to hold on to. Uh, people will only offer you half price in the slums. Are you willing to accept that? Did you hear me? Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, people offer you half price. Um, so the kegs are worth uh, a gold apiece. Okay. But you're only going to get 50 uh, uh, silver off of them. You okay with that? I'm fine with that. It's like, that's how I'm blending in. I'm just selling stuff. Like, hey, uh, yeah, nothing so, suspicious here. Uh, you uh, selling weapons and honey meat and stuff like that uh, draws the attention of, of course, uh, guards, ah. naturally. Uh, right. But, yeah. So you uh, opening up shop on the street. Uh, it draws a lot of attention, so go ahead and roll me uh, uh, disguise as you're trying to hide your identity as just, I'm just selling stuff, I'm just a merchant. This deception? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Sounds good to me. We'll get lucky at some point. This is the one. I can feel it. <laughs> lucky dice. Lucky dice. You suck. <laughs> this is the uh, worst. Well, so, uh, as people are like gathering up and having their stuff, uh, you uh, get through half your cells when a inquisitor comes up to you and says, "Who are you, and do you have a license to sell street vin?" Uh, this seems to be a alkalite of some sort. Um. Who are you, and why are you selling all this stuff on the street? Where's your license? My name is Joffrey. Interesting. Uh, um, my boss has my license. I don't have it on me. Uh, is that so? Well, we're going to have to compensate your goods until we sort this out. Okay. Um, Will you be coming with us? I mean... Uh, who is your boss, by the way? Uh, <laughs> Ed? Man? <laughs> uh, even I know that's a bunch of bullshit, so go ahead and roll me another deception as you're like, Ed? Man? <laughs> <laughs> Deception. But it's not a lie. He does not understand. Uh, so he, he like uh, he like waves to like another guard. He's like, "Sir, have you uh, have you been drinking?" A. Hey. You realize that I'm an officer of the law, 
Uh, lying to an officer of the law is uh, a criminal offense. Wait, is drinking an illegal offense? Uh, being intoxicated, no. Unless you're, uh, uh, what's it, disorderly conduct or what have you. So, Listen, like, I, might, yep. I might have had a little, you know, to drink. But, you know, I was just on my way out. I was, I'm, I don't want to get caught up. He, like, looks at your honey ale. He's like, uh, mind if I have a sip? <laughs> ah, for, for you, my fine gentleman. Of course. Assuming I don't have to deal with this uh, paperwork. So then my boss doesn't have to hear about it. I'm you know? Yeah, that's a diplomacy. That's a persuasion if I ever heard one. <laughs> You're trying to bribe him, so you'll see if you do it. Come on, one good roll. Yeah. Uh, he's like, yeah, you give me one of those kegs, and uh, I've uh, you go about your business. One of a sip, but sure. I'll take it. Okay, and so I'll... you have... Sounds like... Eight kegs. So Selling them for half price. For half price is fifty silver. So four gold pieces. Uh, you don't get gold pieces. You get silver. Silver. Uh, gold is extremely rare. Uh, so that is. The weapons. Weapons are uh, are like of decent quality, I believe. Right. Those are like the bandits, right? Right, so scimitars, I'll look it up. Weapons. Uh, selling all my weapons? Uh, you get half price and they're gold. Uh, those are smith weapons, right? They're mithril. What? No, they're not mithril. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, I'll charge one for that. So they are gold, right? So for weapons, you do get gold. However, you don't get them at full price. Rapier is 25 gold pieces each. Right. So that would be half priced. So 12, 5 times by 6. You actually get gold. 75 this. gold pieces. Oh, you get like scrupulous characters being in, like, yeah, man, I'll take that nice uh, iron weapon from you. You're hey, weapon, I'll have you none. This is the finest of stabbing implements. He's like, sure, buddy. Yeah, whatever. I just wanted to cut. You do get gold for them, though. Half price. Gold. You do get gold. Yeah, these these are weapons are uh, somewhat illegal. You're you're pretty much you're pretty much a gun seller, right? You're selling guns. <laughs> these weapons are designed for murderizing. Well, it's it's at least it's off my my yes, chest, indeed. I guess. Yep. I've got and leather armor to sell. So can I sell uh, that as so, well? So, like, nobody wants your leather armor. That's considered junk. All right, well, <laughs> that's all for today, folks. Watch <laughs> out mean, for those heretics. They'll buy it for, like, uh, scrap. They'll buy it for scrap. Yeah, scrap my, my mother can pay for more for that. Yeah. What is this? I'm going to move to the slaver's market. Excellent. Get into the slaver's market. It seems to be empty. Would you like to roll uh, an investigation? Or would you like I to would ask like... someone about what's going on? Or what would you like to do? I would like to investigate. Excellent. Go ahead and roll me an investigation. <clears throat> So as you're like walking around, you ask some of the locals and like, hey, have you seen Slave Master Moore? Uh, you notice like some of his uh, some of his signs have been getting wet and they were slowly sliding off uh, because it's still raining. It's been raining this entire time. Um, <clears throat> uh, you find out that like Moore set up shop and then was attacked uh, by some strange wizard heretic. And uh, he uh, packed up and started leaving. He's leaving the city of Alkaline. Okay. So, like, the South Gate. So, like, you ask, and they're like, the, he's leaving. <laughs> All right. I don't know where Thank he's you. going. It's time to get the hell out of here. Just go through the South Gate. Get out of here. Uh, Run for the hills. <sighs> 
Get on the so road. You're leaving, leaving the sprawling area. I would love to leave this crazy town filled with people <laughs> who will murder me. I mean, welcome to the city of Algoline. <laughs> That's right, I'm never going back. I'm not wanted here. I mean, okay, so let's head out to the major town map. I mean, I can, I'll can. i probably come back at some point to get that crystal, but... I mean, maybe. maybe. Assuming, assuming something bad doesn't happen. So we are getting recaptured. Uh, so yes, the skull moves the party. Where would you like to go? Are there any barges in port? Uh, roll me. Uh, so like the Inquisition's on the march, right? So they're seriously trying to shut down everything. So the docks. Any major, major trading hubs and stuff like that would probably be blocked off, right? So the docks are definitely on lockdown. Okay. In that case, I will not go to the docks. Yeah. The best way to escape would be probably just through, like, the back alleyways and then the, yeah, the places where, like, you might be able to get a wagon through. Maybe not. So uh, they're looking I... for a person, not a wagon. So... Yeah, that's a good point. Can I investigate for where the slavers are heading? Uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so you're like going to a bar or something like that, right? What are you doing? Um, just as I come out of the city gates, like ask around, like the other people who have wagons, like, hey, do you know where Mister Moore is? Sure. Hi. Go ahead. I will investigate with all of my powers of deduction. Yeah, so they're like, yeah, uh, Moore always goes around uh, the out, uh, goes around the, the the current locations, and goes picks up slaves. You're, you're, you don't get an exact location of where he's at, but he, you're pretty sure that he's in the wilds. Like he's <laughs> out that way, <laughs> and they're like, no general direction. They're like, yeah, he had a, a contingent of slaves with him as well. Northwest, south, sir? Uh, they're kind of like, well, maybe. Like, you get, like, several, like, did he go east or did he go north? Like, which way did he, was he heading? And they're like, I don't know. I mean, it's none of my business. And he's like, well, if I had to venture, I'd say that he would have headed east. Uh, yeah. What's east? East is towards the Silver Mountains. Um... Okay. I guess I'll follow the river. Just walking uh, Just to be clear, you're looking for a needle in a haystack, right? So you're looking for one man in a, a city of millions, right? Uh, this is the... Right. Uh, um, right? So they're kind of like, yeah, like, we don't keep track of everybody that comes through. We get all types here. So. No, it's a shame. Well, thank you anyway for your time. I won't trouble you further. Like nods and like, well, good luck to wherever you're heading. Uh, who are you, by the way? Where are you heading? I, I will just slide him a silver <laughs> piece and be like, you didn't see anything. It's like, yeah, I didn't see a blind man come this way. That's right. Mm -hmm. Good for you. And I am going to um, very quickly leave the city. Excellent. Uh, like it. it takes you an entire day to travel outside the outskirts. You notice that the roads are starting to get horrible and the wagon is slow. Oh, hey, now, don't go too fast. You're just now leaving the outskirts. <laughs> oh, I'm just... Ah, you're just now leaving the outskirts. Go ahead and roll me that sweet, sweet survival as you try to leave the city of Alkaline. I really want to leave this murder city behind. <laughs> yeah, you make Thank excellent you. travel. Make excellent travel. You get out of the city unassaulted. Well Thank you, done. Joe. Well done. <sighs> so, um, do I need to camp for the night, I guess? Uh, of course, yes. Nighttime rolls around. 
The rain is still coming down. Uh, what, if anything, do you do? Okay. You're now in the Northern Plains and the, uh, the city of Alkaline in all of its splendor and wonder and horror uh, <laughs> is falling behind. As soon as I get like out of anyone's sight, I'm going to cast Find Familiar using basically the money that I earned. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Tell me about Let's this get... ritual. Tell me about this ritual. So as he left, Adron bought all these different herbs. And now that he's at a campfire, he's just throwing it all into a cauldron, it's making this strange smoke that is like filling the campsite. And he takes out the monocle, and when he throws it into the fire, an owl comes out. Uh, yeah. Your familiar With returns the to you on. and hole. Good to see you, Redley. <sighs> You miss some that. You miss some stuff. Rightly, he kind of like shrugs. Like, woo, woo. Yeah, I know. Woo, it's like woo. that. Ridley and I would tells like tells you off, like in hoots. <laughs> it's like subtext. Like, thanks for sending me against the slave master, buddy. Yeah, that was awesome. I got slaughtered. Thank you. <laughs> I'm finally gonna learn some new spells. Tell me about these spells that you're learning. After visiting the, the Holy Master's Temple, Adron's like, he's seen some stuff. Like, he, he hasn't seen a lot of Arcana people before. Yeah. He learns the spell Tongues and the spell Fireball. <laughs> That's the kind of spell I like. There we go. I think that entire oh. episode would have changed differently, drastically, had you had Fireball. Okay, so we're out in the wilds. Yep. <laughs> You're Redley. safe. I need you to do a, um, as we're walking along, we need to find Slave Master Moore. I need you to do some flybys. Aerial reconnaissance. Sure, go ahead and uh, roll me a uh, perception for your owl. This will take some time, however. I'm assuming this is happening while they're walking along. Uh, so it's nighttime. So are you having them like summon him and then like go find him? Yes, that that sounds even better. So while okay. you're sleeping and resting, the owl will be on patrol, right? Okay. Uh, and it should be reporting back uh, in the morning, right? Yep. That's so my owl has the advantage on this. Man, He's got nice. excellent eyes. <laughs> He's... So the owl heads south and clearly uh, follows like the river. So the owl is looking for like boats, right? So you guys both come to the conclusion like, yeah, yeah more took boat. And you quickly find out that he did not take a boat. <laughs> You're pretty uh, sure that is, he yeah. was a wagon train leaving the place. So you're like, ah, shit. But it was a good, good idea. It was a good That's idea. That's a good point. Th these rolls. <laughs> you can't get any luck. <laughs> it is now morning, and your owl reports back to you all wet and soggy. Uh, you notice, like, it's getting harder and harder to move the cart due to all the rain. We need to get out of this rain real fast, I think. Well, actually, it's a lot uh -huh. lighter now, so it's not as difficult as it once was, right? It's because you don't have your kegs or anything like that. So you're traveling with an empty cart. So actually, it's not difficult at all. Right? But at this point, I think all of my money is gone. <laughs> That's good. Lost... That's good, because that means you're an adventurer. <laughs> I think I'm just going to mark off that I lost my money. I mean, maybe. You might be able to find them, might not be able to. Can I spend the day continue traveling? Sure. Where are you heading? Uh, east. Sounds but good to now me. that we know he's not by the river, let's not go by the river where it's all. Excellent. A wise decision. 
Wise decision by wise people. Excellent. We're going to roll me a survival as you're journeying along. Your owl naturally is napping during the day. <laughs> I will survive. I was alone. Excellent. I was Excellent. Uh, nothing happens uh, as you're traveling uh, northeast. Uh, night rolls around and nothing's harassing you or anything like that. What would you like to do? You're making camp once again. Making excellent mm. progress. Not running into Bradley. any counters. Bradley, I need you to do another another flyby. Excellent. We have to find the thing. Excellent. Every day he gets further from us. Let's do it, Bradley. Fly, fly my bird. Yes. Well, he does have advantage, so that's good. So uh, he reports back to you that uh, instead of heading south, you believe that last time that Ry uh, Riley's Ri Ridley, what's their owl's name? Retley. Retley saw a, a caravan of prisoners was in this direction. And it seems oh. to be heading uh, towards the city of Ravenshaven. That's what the conclusion you come to. Where is the city of Ravenshaven? The city of head? Ravenhaven is in this location right here. Ah, okay. <laughs> what do you think, Whitley? Should we go to Ravenshaven? Woo! <gasps> Me too. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, Farmer Ed. Looks like there's going to be some package delay. Okay, excellent. So, Roll the next morning, survival. Yep. we're going to go north. Excellent. Survive. Survival. No survive. No. Oh, no. Roll me a d6. Come on. Excellent. That's not good, is it? That's a one. Hey, at least we're not in prison anymore. That was, that's a real step in the right direction. That's a good step. It's always a good step. Let me see here. I should mention. Oh, oh, oh shit! Okay. Oh my goodness gracious! No. Oh my goodness gracious! Excellent. Excellent. What is the worst? <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> Look at what have I done? Oh, this is already. I'm already spooked. Uh, do you see green fields? I see green fields with like little yellow stars. Uh, those are trees. So you're currently those are trees. in a okay. wooded area. Go ahead and place There's yourself near the campfire. Cool. You're going to need a horse. Where is the campfire? So the campfire is right here. Cool. There we go. I'll take it. You're going to need a wagon and a horse. So Al Hadron. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Interesting. I'm glad that you're level six. Let's just say that. I'm glad that you're level six. I'm not level six. six, I'm level five. Oh, yours. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> That's not filling me with cup. I'm, you know what? I'm going to roll portents. Oh, uh, little Joe. Oh, little Joe. I'm also going to have um, a drama equipped. Um. I'm still afraid of the Inquisition. They're coming to get me. Um, there's... <laughs> uh, so you set up in camp uh, next to a small uh, pond. Uh, as you're heading your way 
uh, you're still in the Golden Plains, heading towards the Endless Desert. Uh, that is when, uh, roll me a perception. There are trees around. Is my perception? Yep. You may, yes. This is very much a perception thing. Uh, excellent. Uh, I see this creature's stealth. The rest. Oh. Excellent. Okay, let's just build this to zero. See if it even cares. <laughs> Doesn't even care. Okay. No, it don't even give a shit. Um, yeah. Uh, approximately uh, two hundred feet away, your owl, who's flying around, gets spooked by a looming flying shadow. Uh, go ahead and roll me a knowledge arcana. I think I already know what it is. Maybe. <laughs> It's uh, there's only one large thing that flies around in the sky. There's several things that do. Uh, yes, you know that this creature is a wyvern. Uh, this creature is supposed to be in the Jade Rainforest. Unfortunately, it is here. Probably hunting. Probably hunting. Uh, what, if anything, do you do? Can I... What, what do I know about wyverns? Have uh, wyverns, I seen a wyvern uh, Wyverns are native to the Jade Rainforest. So a creature going out uh, this far is usually uh, trying to bring back something of note or worthy towards uh, uh, for its green dragon masters. So this Let's, creature is uh, clearly um, hunting for something. I'm going to try to like hide in these civilized the races. Uh, wyverns are the closest to dragon kin. However, they are not dragons, and they are slaves to dragons. Um, dragons keep them in check. Their green dragon masters keep them in check that way. The um, hide underneath the, the tree. Excellent. Go ahead and roll me a stealth. I stealth go. Let's hope you do. You know what? I'm gonna waste a portent. Excellent. Make that a eighteen plus two, so twenty. This is one fight I don't want to have. Let's see, it's passive. Uh, you're good. You're good. Uh, the wyvern seems to be flying about two hundred uh, yards away. It turns and banks towards you, and then it slowly starts fading uh, away. It starts heading uh, north, west. But west. you can clearly tell that this creature is hunting for something. Hey, Redley. Follow after that dragon. I don't know what's that. It's not a dragon. A wyvern. A wyvern. A wyvern. Roll me a stealth for Redley. This is incredibly you know, back. This is incredibly dangerous. It's an owl. He will recur now. An owl. Stealth. Yep. Ah, uh, passive. Yes. Uh, your owl follows after it, and uh, the wyvern seems to pay it no mind or no interest. Um, okay. How long is Ridley going to follow this creature? Um. I can do it for about eight hours, I think, because I've got my dark vision. I can see without Retley now. Uh, excellent. Uh, so Retley, I think it's a hundred feet. Retley's uh, connection with you severs, and I assume yes, you cast uh, dark vision, right? Yep, that's me. Excellent. Um, I've been dark vision. Uh, Retley, uh, Retley's Retley's following the the wyvern. I'll get you off. Just okay, little Joe. Time to pack up and leave. Unless it's nighttime, and then we will sleep, and then we will leave. Uh, so this is like the start of the day. Are you adventuring forth? Let's keep going north. Excellent. But you know, River. not faster than a dragon north. 
Which you guys are pretty good clip. Uh, it's raining, right? So you guys have cover. And it's dampening all the smells. So the wyvern didn't see you. Oh, phew. <laughs> I like the idea that Adron saw the future and it's like, oh, it's going to rain again today. And then it's like, oh, but the rain saved my life. <laughs> Excellent. We're back on the overland map. What would you like to do? This goes one square north. Go ahead and roll me that sweet, sweet survival. So this is going north again, because that was the survival I did last time, I thought. Uh, that's correct. You failed your, what's it, survival? Yep, and that's when you had an encounter. Yep, 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 okay. I'm going to go north one more time. Excellent. Let's see. Survival. <laughs> Roll me a d6! You know what? I, I'm just going to roll my portent real quick. Okay. This is a new day, so don't forget to use that, that bullshit tactic, but yeah. <laughs> I need it, man. I'm a baby That wizard. is true. Good lord, you do need it. I know it's not fun, but it's like these dice. They hate me for some reason. <laughs> I think they love you in like a 50-50 kind of way. Stuff me in a, like they want to hurt me kind of way, yep. and that's not fun for no. me. All right. Uh, so, yeah, are you high using high. your portents? Let's be clear here. Are you using your portents? No, right? I don't mind paying your counsel. All right. I will have mage on. Does Ridley come back? Uh, Ridley does come back, uh, but the wyverns seem to uh, fly all the way until night, land, and then go to sleep. Uh, Ridley has nothing to report back. Um, other than like it may have caught a deer or a bear. Um, other than that, nothing more exciting happened. Maybe wolves. Thank you for the report. Uh, but that was about it. That's that's what it's all. The wyvern doom seemed to be hunting. Okay, uh, let's go back. Number five. We're doing all of the encounters today. Excellent. Uh, what time do you make camp? Oh, no, no, that's not sort of dusk, I guess. <laughs> I don't like the sight of that. What was that? Give me a second. Where are you? I lost it. Nope, not that one either. Just had it right here. I forgot the sounds for this. Oh, yes. Nice. No, 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 no. no there we go. Oh. We're back here. Okay. Uh, We're back here. Uh, you didn't hit that place. Um, uh, tell me what you're doing uh, that night. So, Adron is a outlander, which means he forages for food. Yep. He doesn't have to worry about preparing rations. So he's like gathering berries and checking for rabbits and generally meditating. Um, uh, go ahead Trying and to channel. roll me perception for your owl as you um, notice people or things. Uh, people. be a group roll. Um, yeah. Uh, you see a group of people coming towards you. Uh, what, if anything, do you do? Adron will stand on the car and be like, and just cool out. Who goes there? Uh, these dark figures, uh, it's starting to get dark, uh, come out and says, Hey, stranger, what you got in the wagon? I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. <laughs> uh, we've just come back from town, so we've sold the majority of our stock, but we have some leather armor if you'd like to buy some stuff. Oh, 
You a merchant of some sort, huh? The guy's coming yes, over. Yes, a traveling closer. merchant. Nothing uh, suspicious here at all. These guys seem to be armed with uh, crossbows, uh, scimitars, leather armor. Um, yeah. I don't like the sound of that. Like, hey, uh, let's let's have a look at your wares. Let's see what you got. Hey, uh, first of all, who are you guys? I, I don't, I'm not sure if I trust you. Oh, we're just some uh, local boys. Here to here to see what you're uh, doing on our land. What's your name? Oh, no one, no one of importance. What's your name? My name is Atron. Maybe oh, you've heard of me. Atron. You have a nice horse there. Guy comes up to you and like starts looking at him. He's like, his wagon's empty. And everybody's like, oh. Like, it's well, do you mind if we uh, set up a camp with you tonight? Um. Share the warmth of the fire in this cold, dark place. I thought this was your land. Don't you have, like, your own place to stay here? Oh, uh, we, we're between visits, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to share camp at the moment. Oh, why not? I mean, no offense, but I kind of just bet you guys and you're all armed and, you know, he, like looks you not that I would hand. suggest anything. It's like, you're, uh, you're armed too, ain't you? Who's, who walks around with leather armor and... What, a walking stick? Is that what you're going to say? He like looks at your stick. He's like, yeah. I've seen people crack open skulls with a stick. Oh, uh, well, it, I have in my time. But, you know, uh, usually people around these parts got to be careful, you know? Oh, I can respect that. Okay. So, uh, where are you heading? Oh, we're just uh, traveling around, making sure people are safe. Right. You know, I met some people who said something very similar. Oh. They, they tried to steal my horse. Oh, we ain't no horse thieves. Good, because, you know, <laughs> you, you wouldn't want to end up like the last guy. What happened to the last guy? Um... Well, put it this way, I think he might be a slave now. Oh, you a slave trader then? He like looks in the back of your cart. It's like, I don't see no chains. Well, um, no, I mean, I brought him to City of Alkalite to, uh, because to seek justice and I got a better price at the slaver's market. What can I say? Oh, you with the uh, what's his name? He's like, hey, uh, what's his what's the guy's name? He always comes and buys from us, and he's like, oh, um, more, more. You're with more. Sure, I'm with more. It's like, oh, well, <laughs> why didn't you say so in the first place? It's like he like he seems much more friendly towards you. He's like, oh, why didn't you say so in the first place? He's like, ease up, guys, ease up. He's with us. He's with us. Did you get lost? Are you part of his caravan? I mean, I mean with the uh, my my wagon got stuck in the mud, and we had yeah. to do. There was a wyvern. Wy wy we had to hide hide out for a few days. Oh shit, a wyvern! And they're like looking around, like. Where? I know, right? Crazy. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. So, like, the guy like uh, says, like, well, I mean, now that we're on friendly terms, we ain't going to do nothing to you. Uh, you want to share a campfire? Um, you gonna tell me your name? Sure. My name's John. Nice to meet you, John. He like holds out a hand. I'll shake his hand. It's like, uh, um, yeah. So how do you know more? Oh, well, we work for him. Go out, get some people, round them up. Ah, I see. So you're I thought sort you of were the... part of the trade. You know how this works. <laughs> Are you new or something? Right, right. Yeah. 
like looks hey, at you smoke. funny. He's like, I'm just checking, man. You could be anyone. You know, it's not like. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad that you're even. human. You know, he like says, "Come on, boys, just go ahead and." Uh, so they like gather around the campfire, and like they seem much more relaxed. Uh, they don't seem. Sure, to I got be, some like, food. Yeah. Uh, they break out. I can like, uh, they, they they open up their own like food and stuff like that. And they they offer you some. Like, well, it's always good to see people, uh, good hardworking people like us out here. <laughs> right, us honest working people, right. like, like a, us. It's a trade, right? It's a trade. Damn, I mean, times are tough. Yeah. Well, so um, elves are around. <laughs> we killed a couple of them not too long ago. I heard nice the elves stuff. are taking slaves. Is that true? He, like, frowns at this. It's like, elves just kill you, man. <laughs> elves believe in, like, that freedom and crap, and they just, if they spot you, they'll just kill you. <laughs> They're not as kind and generous as we are. You know, he, like, taps you on his shoulder. I got gotcha. you. You haven't seen that elf turn into a bear? <laughs> he, like, laughs at that. He's like, yeah, 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 I... I've seen it too. And he like offers like like the drink. You're like, yeah, elves turn into the bears. <laughs> You're funny, man. <laughs> Next, you right. gotta say like, I'm the holy master himself. <laughs> and like, let's get like a round of laughter. <laughs> yeah, he's the holy master. <laughs> so... Yeah, with those inquisition types, are you? The oh, trust like, me. Shut up, and they're like, I was glad to get out of there. Trust me. Yeah, a bunch of <laughs> like. Stuck up pricks, just like no, us. Definitely. They try to definitely be all lawful and orderly, and they're just a bunch of a holes. I mean, yeah, they just kill anyone who doesn't agree with them. That's why how, how I see it. Glorified tax collectors is what they are. <laughs> they don't work as hard as we yeah. do. They don't put in the sweat and tears. All they do is like round up the peasantry and then send them away. Us boys think that they uh, they gather up the peasants and once there's so many humans, they send them off to do purges and stuff. That's what I think. It's like, don't say that too loud. It's like, why? We're free out here. We don't have to put any lip service to the Inquisition. You're like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so, uh, how many days out are, are we from the main caravans? Um, I've sort of... You're away from the main roads. Main roads right, right that way. You're, you're heading away from the roads, man. You're heading out into the wilds. Any, de any decent stuff isn't this direction. Oh, man. Well, I'd appreciate it. Uh, it I mean, I've, I haven't been down this way. I, I, I go a little off the road, and I'm, I'm just blindly heading north, I think. Moore always Towards. goes this way. You, you said you were new? Uh, I am a little new, yeah. I've never... Had to lead a caravan on my own before. Yeah, well, Moore does like a circuit, and like us bands go roaming around, right? And then he comes out, restocks us, and then he heads back, and he does this this trade, this circling trade. Right. So he, I like, got looks split at you up. like confused, like you, you didn't tell you his business plan. I got split up from the main group. That's what I said. He's like, yeah, oh, interesting. But you seem to be uh, pretty dumb. Oh, what's going on? What can I say? You know, I'm just, uh, you know, I don't do so good with the thinking, but I'm good with horses. Go ahead and roll me like this deception as you're kind of like trying to play off like his suspicions. Like he's kind of like eyeballing you now, right? That was my Al Al's deception. That should be a 15. Uh, sure. Uh, so he's kind of like, uh, it's like, whatever. So yeah, we get tired. Sometimes we get lost as well. This is big land out here. You have to be careful. You don't know what you come across. I'm glad that we stumbled upon you. That would have been awkward, right? At least it wasn't some elves. <laughs> they all like laugh and like nudge each other. What, what's the deal with elves like hating humans so much, huh? 
I don't think they hate us as much as they hate the Inquisition. Inquisition's That's in power. And then there you go. They see all humans as spies and threats to their uh, magic wielding blah blah blahs. You know, those <laughs> wiggling figures and stuff. All natural and bull crap. You can't believe an elf. Oh, like, uh. One of the guys in the back is like, I've seen one of the Magus' towers. And everybody's like, ah, oh, shut up about that story. That's a bunch of bullshit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you were drinking that night too. And he's like, the only tower you saw was your was in your pants. And they're like, ah, ha, 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 ha. They're all like, laughing. So how's, um, you know, business lately? Because I know it's been raining a lot. That's probably... I know they shut down the barges and most of the routes because of something in the city. Well, more just came through and picked up our stock. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Somebody's yelling. Someone next door. Uh, Can't help. That's fine. Um, so, uh, they seem to be, like, joking, uh, sharing their food with you. One of them, like, comes up and pets the horse and starts grooming it. Uh, yeah, they seem pretty friendly towards you. Okay. Well, you seem, you guys seem pretty chill. I'm probably, I'm gonna have my owl keep watch as I sleep, though. Excellent, yeah. Uh, so they actually set up, like, guards over the camp and everything else, but they seem to be, uh, pretty much protecting, like, mutual, uh, protection. Uh, they keep the fire high and dry. Um, the night passes uneventfully. Um, in the morning, they're like, uh, uh, are you doing anything that night? Let's, let's make sure. Uh, I'm not going to do anything finger waggly, if that's what you're asking. No. All right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the guys in the morning are like, okay, well, we have to head off. It was a pleasure meeting you. Uh, what's your name again? Adron. Adron. Okay, well, we'll tell more if we ever see him that uh, we came across you and we pointed you his way. Uh, don't don't get lost, man. Don't get lost. You could easily right. stumble upon some bad characters. Which way did you say uh, more was? He said north. This He's doing the circuit. All right. I'll, hopefully I'll catch up with him. All right. Well, good luck to you. We have to make her pay, right? That's, that's true. See you around. He pats you on the back and says, uh, back to the work. Nose to the grindstone, man. Nose to the grindstone. And they head off. <laughs> Not to self. But you use Moore's name more often. <laughs> businessman. Businessman. It's just business. What do you do? It's the mafia. Yeah. Let's let's get out of here. Excellent. These rag, rag punks. We don't know what's good for them. <laughs> punks just don't know, man. Punks just don't know. All right, we head back to the main thing. Let's do it. So All right. we're roll entering into the wild. All right, go ahead and roll me. Uh, that sweet, sweet uh, survival. I will survive. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Roll me a D five or D uh, D six. Can I just use my portent? Oh, uh, you may. Yes. yes. Uh, I will turn that roll into a fourteen plus four. Let's make that eighteen. Okay, you continue unabated, and no encounters happen. Uh, you uh, step out of the uh, Golden Plains. And into uh, the endless desert. Uh, it's a very vast contrast. You see uh, grasslands all the way coming up, and then you see desert. Uh, it's sudden and uh, very apparent, as if it's like some sort of border. Uh, you can see mm. for miles around. Uh, in the distance, in the far north... Uh, you can see smoke rising in the far distance. Um, go ahead and roll me knowledge, geography. Yeah. 
Knowledge Arcana, I guess. Knowledge, knowledge Nature. Knowledge Nature would be perfect. Nature. Yes. I don't know so much about nature, man. <laughs> you That's don't know. <clears throat> okay. Tell me what you think <laughs> that smoke is. I've never been in a desert before, so I guess it's like a forest fire. No, there's no trees. Uh, there's got to be a uh, campfire, but no, you don't need a campfire in the middle of the day. So maybe it's a uh, dragon. No, they don't live in the, the wild. Yeah, you got maybe it's, no, uh, no clue what that is or could be. So Let's head towards it. Let's find out. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me a survival. Do I need to worry about water? Uh, you tell me. You're heading into the desert. <laughs> what do you think? So, have I, like, stocked up on water supplies? Oh, no, That's have you? I don't think you have. You have I currently mean... an empty wagon, a horse, and I don't think you had much more, right? I've got my all my gear where it's like, oh, yeah, you have a... Um, you know, what skin as part of your adventuring gear? Uh, so that will keep you alive. What about your horse? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's water in there somewhere. I'll be fine. <laughs> Can I fill? I mean, I passed all all these water springs. Can I just say I filled some water like last night? Uh, I mean, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I mean, if you I knew I was coming me, up did you? Visit, I these bandits, I assume, told me that the desert was coming up. So I'm like, okay. Well, you also told them that you were part of this caravan, right? So they would uh, also assume that you were ready for this travel. <laughs> Why would they say, hey, man, hey, man, you ready for this adventure? <laughs> Don't forget to pack the water, man. I mean, it's called the Endless Desert for a reason. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think uh, that's like, you don't need water. You can last three days without water or something, right? That's a rule. You tell me. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to go north and I'm going to split my water with the horse. Little Joe. Okay. Uh, go ahead and start rolling me some survival as you head out into the endless desert. I will survive. No. No, you don't. No. <laughs> uh, for people at home, he rolled an eight. Uh, so you, uh, unfortunately, uh, you're now in the endless desert. However. Thank you. The situation becomes much more dire. Uh, your water runs out. Damn, first day in the desert and I'm already out of water. Yep, you and the horse started chugging and you guys are sweating and... <sighs> Looks pretty rough. Looks pretty bad right now. You're already out of water. And okay. roll me a uh, 1d6. You know what, Joe? I think we maybe should have traveled at night. This is not my smartest move. <laughs> hey, man, this is you, right? This is all you. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a new rock bottom. Don't worry. I want to travel in the middle of the desert with no water. What could possibly go wrong? All right, where's that camp? Uh, night approaches. And you're out in the middle of the desert. What, if anything, do you do? Uh, let's see, it's this one, yep. So give me a second, I have to grab all you guys and shift you all over. So, I don't mind, like... Keeping going through the night, and then like rest under the, the cabin and during 
and the rest underneath the cart underneath when it's like daytime. If that's like the smart thing to do. Uh, there we go. Unfortunately, there's no reprieve from the sun, the burning sun. The desert as well. A desert, a big sand pit of nothing but in this space. Uh, there's no shade. <laughs> there's no rocks. It's sand dunes. And on the sand dunes, your horse is like all lathered up and like. Uh, even you are starting to feel the fatigue starting to set in. Um, yeah. What, uh, if anything, do you do? The desert Red seems Lee. to be sucking the life out of you. Redly, find some water. Excellent. Go ahead and roll me a uh, survival for Redly. No perception? Nope, it's not perception. This is survival. Uh, so, uh, Retley, uh, comes across like this small little hole and Retley comes up and like tries picking at it and he finds like this bulbous, uh, orb. Uh, as you come over to investigate it, I want you to roll me a knowledge nature. It's the thing that was making all the smoke? Yep. You know that this uh, creature inside of it is a cane toad. And what it does is that it builds mucus around it during uh, hot times. And you can pop this mucus sack with the frog inside of it and you can drink out of it. You're going to drink mucus. You're going to drink frog mucus, yes. This is the new rock bottom fat drone. But yeah, I will... It will keep you alive. However, your horse will not be enough for your horse unless you kill the, the cane toad. I'm, a, I'm happy to take on the cane toad. You sacrifice the cane toad for your horse? Excellent. I mean, it's not sentient, is it? It's not like a, a bullywug. Uh, go ahead and roll me a knowledge religion. This is the god of bullywugs. Excellent. Whew, guys, you toss that one to the side. Uh, you realize that having this animal die is a sacred animal to the uh, boar elves. This animal helps keep them alive. It's going to help me keep me alive as well. And your horse. So the boar elves live in the desert? Is that uh, the yes, name? you are very much in the boar elves territory. The endless desert is what they're known for. Um, this is why they keep to themselves. They're all around, scattered throughout. Uh, they live in these like roaming little uh, pig herds. Uh, they're pretty wild and feral. Uh, you've heard rumors that they're, well, you've just heard rumors. It sounds like it's a roll. <laughs> you know what? Screw these guys. They're just barbarians, right? Sure. No one's gonna. F <laughs> no one's gonna find out. Sure. I'll just boop and uh, feed my horse. Excellent. Your horse and you survive at the expense of this poor creature's life. It will not make it through the uh, summer due to the lack of wa uh, water. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything else? You can now travel forth once again. Can I give it a burial, I guess? I mean, it's not dead now, right? Currently, all you've done oh. is sapped all the water out of it, right? But you know that you've taken so much out of it, that's going to shrivel up and die. It's currently hibernating. Oh, right, I see. So there's, it forms yeah. like a little mucus shield around itself during hard times. Right, and it can suspend itself in like this little animation. Uh, but you've 
tapped its life fluids, and it's going to just shrivel up and die. Oh. I feel bad, but it's just a frog. Uh, let, let's keep moving, I guess. I will roll Porton if we are... Uh... It is a new day, yes. Beat these rolls, man. <laughs> uh, okay. One get out of jail free card. Well, it depends on the roll, too. Uh, so, uh, you head back over to the Overland map. Having enough water for a day, because uh, <laughs> you did not come prepared. I was not prepared. Clearly not. Where do you go? Okay, so are we on the road at this point? There is no road. This is the endless desert. Where are you heading? The I smoke see... clouds in the distance keep getting larger and larger. Can I see the town? Um, sure. Go ahead and roll me uh, perception. I mean, I'm assuming I have my owl sort of flying overhead to, like, guide us through the desert. Yes. Excellent. Yes, as darkness rolls around, you can see um, lights in the distance. Okay, let's, let's head in that direction. Excellent. We'll roll survival. Oh, yes. Go ahead and roll me survival as you once again try to make it across this vast desert. What you going to do? I will use my portents to survive. Excellent. You make it on that little bit of water that you got from that uh, uh, cane toad and make it into the city of Ravenshaven. Let's go ahead and collect you. Ravenshaven is nowhere near as large as the city of Alkaline. It is, it's not even a subsection. It is a desert town with very little going on uh, in the outskirts. Uh, there is like a mud huts. Uh, yeah. Paste. There we are. And then transfer you over. Uh, you make it into town. And of course, the wide market area opens up to you. Uh, this place seems to be the most busy, and yet it seems quite dead. It is still in the middle of the day. Uh, let's see here. Should I just close my eyes while we open all the maps? Uh, I'm actually scooting you over and over and over. Uh, all of these places that Adron never visited. <laughs> I mean, uh, you make well, your way here into the city of Ravenshaven. You is this a cameo? Feels like you have been here before in another life. <laughs> uh, inside the city of Ravenshaven, you see orcs and a gith commander giving orders to them. You also see stables over here. Oh, I'll make sure I ping. Uh, oh, seems kind of familiar and kind of not. You see an alchemist over here, and you see a blacksmith right here. And you see probably one of the nicest places is an inn right before you. What, if anything, do you do? Um, can uh, I ask around? Like the common folk, I guess? Uh, sure. But currently, you see a man dressed in armored uh, galia and flanked by two guards coming and approaching you. Okay. Uh, Hello. He lifts up his uh, uh, arm and says, uh, I am Commander Archon. Who are you? My name is Adron. Have you been uh, uh, casted by bandits, thieves? He like looks over your wagon. It doesn't seem to be hauling anything. Uh, no, I'm here to look for my friend who was taken by slavers. Uh, slavery is not allowed here 
in the city of Raven's Haven. I. This is a free no, city. Just... If you are a slaver, you are not welcome here. Right. I'm not look. I'm not here to sell slaves. I'm here to get my friend back who was made into a slave. I know the person who took him went in this direction. He like. I think. Nods. He's like, interesting. Um. He is not here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do the eyes blah. Water, please. Do you have any water? We've just uh, come back. He like gestures to the middle of the, uh, uh, uh what's it, Palisade? No, not Palisade. Uh, uh, he gestures to the middle of the marketplace. There you see an orb of light glowing in the middle of it. And underneath it, uh, go ahead and roll me Knowledge Arcana, you see this pool of fresh water. It seems to be some sort of spring of types. Uh, yes, you recognize this as an element of uh, life. It seems to be some sort of elemental uh, energy of life. It seems to be sitting there like a sun glowing. Is it like the crystal I have? Uh... Okay, so yes, you recognize their energy to be quite uh, similar. I see. It's like they have the same flame or something. Um, so, Captain. Oh, you are welcome to get a drink. Uh, I'm sorry that your friends have been stolen from you. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I must return to my duties. Uh, please, stay a while. We could always use the trade. I do have a lot of leather armor for sale. Is that of any interest? Uh, then you might be interested in the uh, stable master, William. He will <laughs> direct you. Uh, he needs uh, good leather for his horses. He'd be very much interested in that. Thank you very much, Captain. I, I hope I won't be too much of a bother. Commander. But... It's Commander. Commander, yes. Uh, sorry, Commander. Yes, Commander. He, like, <laughs> rolls his eyes at this, and he's like, tourists. The tourists. Them yellow-bellied, <laughs> golden field people. You're an outsider, so yeah. This is the first time that you've seen this before, by the way. I've never left the plains. Yeah. Uh, Orcs kind of look you up and down and say, Ugh. Uh, This Geth up? commander gives, like, commands and be like, Focus! Focus! Uh, what's going on over here? Where? Uh, I'm, I'm asking the Geth. What's up? Uh... So the gift like looks at you and is like, move along. This is none of your concern. <laughs> Don't mess with the time stream, man. Unless you're looking for uh, mercenaries, I can hire out some orc mercenaries. How much are your services? He like looks over his men. It depends on the quality of orc. Okay, I'm looking for to take out a hit on say, a band of slavers? Interesting. How much are you willing to pay? <laughs> um, I will look at my money. Sure. I have, like, I've got a lot of silver. Okay. How does a, a thousand silver pieces sound? So ten gold? Oh, holy crap. So he's like, uh, Armok and company at your service. How, who are these, uh, perpetrators? Uh, I am looking for the slave of Moor, and mm. I seek a, f a friend of mine who was taken as a slave. His name is Jeffrey. Interesting. Uh, he I'm... actually gets out a piece of paper and starts writing it down. The orcs are, like, scratching their butts and, like, 
uh, fighting among themselves. And Armok says, hey, cut that off. Get that out. We've got a job to do. Um, I've just left the city of Alkaline. I know that they were heading out into the desert, but I don't know where. But I think there's a circuit that the slavers use. Ah, the slavers reign. Yes, we're aware of that. We've ran across uh, many slavers. What they do is they make a circuit, uh, a complete circle. He pulls out a map and shows you of the circuit. Okay, so where does it end? Like, I it thought it begins this... and ends at the city of Alkaline. Okay. So it's possible that I've already missed them. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> It depends. I've, uh, I think I've been like a week traveling. I, I didn't take the roads. I went through the wilds. Uh, that's your problem right there. That's a good point. I don't know where the roads are. <laughs> so uh, he, he will get out the map and he will show you the ring. There we go. It needs red. Are you hearing music? I'm I am hearing music. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So he will show you the ring. He says that is where your companions are. The ring. That's a very big ring. Uh, now, mind you, oh like he's just like this area. This is a <laughs> like a very large ring. Yes, slavers work within this area. They collect all manners of beasts and creatures. And then they turn to the city of Alkaline to sell their goods. Right, so he isn't just... He's, like, traveling the whole map. He, like, shrugs? He's like, where did you last see him? City of Alkaline. The city of Alkaline, well, that is his starting point. Uh, did you see him head north, east, west? North. He headed north. Into the endless desert. So he's most likely going after boar elf slaves. Boar elves taste delicious to dragons. They sell their dragon slaves to dra they sell their boar elf slaves to dragons in which they consume. Okay. Do you know if there are any agents of the dragon operating in this area? Do you like at you and he's like are you an agent of the dragon no and yet you are asking about them zoom of the, look i've i've never left the golden plains before i'm very new to this sort of adventuring lifestyle you are not a dragon and yet you seek to join them no no that's not what i said I'm trying to know, like, if if the slavers trade with dragons, that seemed confusing to me, because, you know, humans don't usually deal with dragons, I thought. Of course not. If you are part of the Inquisition, that is heresy. So these guys are heretics? The slavers? If they are caught by the Inquisition, of course. I see. Okay, well, thank you for your information. Um, like I said, I will put up a hit if that is of interest to you. Interesting. Yes, we will. Uh, we will find your friend for this fee. And he's like, he gestures for some orcs to take this pretty much chest of silver. <laughs> Uh, and he's like, yes, of course, we will find it, or we guarantee you 50% uh, of your money back. Um, Is this acceptable terms for you? Let's talk about um, what happens if you find other slaves, I guess, because you probably don't want to leave them all behind. Uh, when we attack the slaver, if we find him, uh, he will likely put up a fight. Uh, we do not know his strength or quality of arms. Uh, it varies depending on his encounters in the wild, but you're asking us uh, to chase him down. And most likely he has allies in the wild. 
so. Okay. Um, all I just want to add, if you find any elf slaves around uh, in his caravan, I would appreciate it if they were recovered safely as well. Uh, I you don't an know. Elf friend of sorts. Like gold um. Surgeon? So. Here's, here's the thing. We were given a job to rescue an elvish slave, and it went horribly wrong. Um, so the elf kingdoms have no rule here, boy. I know, but I made a promise to protect um, the, the elvish people, and I person... Who we, what humans uh, we... offer to protect elves? What do you owe them? <laughs> he like seems very confused at this. Like this is like the first time he's heard of like a human trying to protect elves, right? He's like, "Hey, I'm the one paying the money here. Don't ask." Fair enough. You don't. Fair enough. Any other requests? I mean, yeah, but he's still confused on why the el uh, humans. Looking out for an elf, but yeah. But I, I know there is a elf among them. I don't know if she's been sold yet, but I, I basically didn't learn her name. But if she's still with them, I would appreciate her self-return. Uh, so once we kill the guards and this man named Moore, what do you want to do with the prisoners? Be very specific here. Uh, safe return? Safe I mean, return. I... My um, understanding is that this city is a place of freedom, right? Uh, this is a place of choice, yes. Uh, we help keep the peace here, but this council of uh, five is what rules here. There is a... I be, last time I saw them, they did have a troll kept as a captive with them. Trolls I, are not I don't, welcome here. Right, I figured. So, I don't worry as much. Don't worry much about safeguarding that one, I guess. Okay, safeguard all prisoners to city of Alright. Uh, and uh, sorry, I didn't catch your name. Uh, Armok. Nice to meet you, Armok. And pleasure doing business with you. He like nods. And he's like, uh, within a month, we should have an answer for you. At least. A whereabouts of them. Will you be staying right. here for long? Um, I will. I can return here in a month, but I think I need to head back to give this car uh, back to my employer. Oh, so as I understand, you ran into slavers and they captured your friends. Um, and now you're working for someone? And uh, my... Servants of the Dragon? Like, he seems, like, really confused about your weird story. Look, don't worry about it, <laughs> man. It's a long story. He's like, you paid your gold up front, you you paid your silver up front, you're good. <laughs> you might Look, be I'm crazy, not an Jack. but you paid your money, so that's the important thing. I'm definitely crazy. Just don't worry about it. He t does do um, that to people. I will probably be spending a few days in the town just to get my bearings before going out through the desert again. But um, yeah, I'll be sure to come back within a month. Uh, so he like nods and he says, uh, Armok nods to you and says, uh, good luck. And to you as well, friend. Uh, there goes your friend. Uh, more like employee. Okay. Thank you, employee. <laughs> so he like nods and he's like, uh, I will do any, everything I can to uh, uh, achieve what you were requesting. Give us time and we should have an answer for you. He calls over his uh, sub commander and says, What's up? Get the troops ready. We're marching. And then What's up's like, Yes! Yes! And the orcs are like, Yeah! yeah! And they start uh, leaving the city. 
Damn. Well, that went better than I expected it to go. Okay. Um, uh, a few orcs are left behind, um, but uh, the majority all seem to be on a war band, on a war path. What, if anything, do you do? Let's go check mm -hmm. on William, I guess. William, the stable master up here. <laughs> hey, William. <laughs> the... Do you have a brother called Ed? Mm. No, no. Okay, can I move the car? Uh, or should I just walk over? Uh, I mean, I, I'll give you a control. Over Thank you. There. All right, here we go. You should be able to control the cart. Yep, there we go. And not the car. Just carting to the There we go. Okay, should be able to access it. There we go. Oh, there. There we go. Uh, a middle-aged man uh, who's a stable master says, uh, Hello, friend. What can I do for you? I have the finest animals. Does one of them catch your fancy? I see you have a nice straff horse there. Uh, yes, I'm afraid I'm not buying today. But uh, the commander mentioned that you might be interested in uh, what I have to offer. I'm a traveling merchant. A traveling merchant, you say? Well, welcome here. Uh, I'm surprised you weren't harassed on the roads. We've had uh, gnolls and kobolds and all types of manner of creatures harassing people. I'm surprised that you made it this far. <laughs> I've, man, you wouldn't believe what I've had to go through to get here. I've heard stories. I've heard stories. <laughs> oh, man, did you hear anything about a wyvern? A wyvern? Well, that's interesting. I've heard of a manicor. Manicor here lately. Uh, it was talking too. It was crazy. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it was a talking <laughs> manicor head. It was weird. It was dead. I swear. That's that's preposterous. I that's know. Just... But if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Uh, are you interested in buying leather? I'll uh, go ahead and roll me I a persuasion. See if he's interested. I will persuade. Um, he's like, he like looks over your goods and he's like, uh, I'll give you a quarter for them. A quarter of what they're worth. I mean, I got better for that in the slums. I mean, this is the, this is not like high society. This place doesn't even have slums. <laughs> this is yeah, a small town. Uh, he, he, he doesn't even seem interested in it, but he's just like, I'll take it for scrap leather and I'll give you a quarter for it. A quarter. Let me just check how much they're worth. You know what? Yeah, I'll take a quarter. He like nods and shakes your hand and he says, how much do you have? I've got ten. Ten. Excellent. Uh, how much do they cost? They cost, uh, ten gold pieces. So, three coins a piece. Three gold pieces. So, 30 gold pieces? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. He says, are you interested in any trade? I have a uh, barding. I have uh, a bit and bridle. I have uh, a carriage, cart, chariot. I've got feed for a day. Got saddles. Do you have any... Packets? Water supplies? Oh. You were talking about saddlebags. Um, is that for storing water? Oh, Maybe. You name it, saddlebags will store what you want. <laughs> it's, look, I went into the desert. I wasn't expecting it to be so hot. You went into the <laughs> desert unprepared? <laughs> You're some sort of death witch kind of guy? That's look. insane. You went into the desert unprepared. What can I say? Kids at home, I can't see. seriously, prepare before ever going into the desert. Even if you're taking a car, make sure you actually have water and shit because you break down. <laughs> Don't listen to Adron. He's... Do not listen to Adron. Do not listen to Adron. What are, why are kids watching this? I, don't... I, I mean, future kids? I don't know. 
Yes, but Joe, don't Fair. go into the desert unprepared. Say, um, so how much do these saddlebags cost? Uh, the saddlebags for you is only four gold a piece. I will take those. Excellent. How many would you like? One. Sure. So a saddle bet actually sits on a horse, right? Uh, saddle bags are also can be put in a cart and whatnot, but they're designed specifically for horses. Uh, how much water can that store? And they weigh eight how much, pounds. How many days of water are we talking? Uh, so you have to buy water. Saddle bags don't come with water. <laughs> You have to buy like water skins. Oh uh, yeah. Do you have any water skins, Mister William? I currently do not. I'm sure the alchemist does, though. The alchemist. Ah, I will make sure to visit him next. Then. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Uh, he like waves to you, and he like starts cutting up the leather, uh, uh, armor. There's a lot of there's a lot of blood on this leather. I mean, it's leather, right? So he's like, I've seen all types of stuff. Blood on leather armor is not really all that big. All right, I'll go over to the alchemist. Uh, Mounter greets you. Here. Well, hello, my friend. How can I help you? Um, Do you see anything that interests you? I've got healing herbs, healing powders. Uh, poison, if you need it. Those all sound amazing. What can uh, I do for you? Uh, so I, I, I just heard that you sold water skins and I came into the desert unprepared. So you come to an alchemist it. just to purchase water? It's my hottest selling item. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, just the container for water, presumably, because oh. there's a water fountain over there. Of course. Isn't, uh, isn't, is the big free source of water? Ah, uh, yes, that is the wellspring. It is uh, communal, however, if you want to package it and bottle it like I do, you have to come to me. <laughs> it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's sealed from the spring. <laughs> Uh, so you think that, like, the alchemist has an agreement with the council uh, that he can only take a certain amount of water, right? And he pays dearly for it. Like, I want this fresh water, and then I go and sell it. Um, so, uh, how it, much are you interested in? Let's say um, eight days. Eight days. For me and the horse. Oh. Uh, I assume you want bottles with uh, caps on them. Well, wine bottles mm. do. Used wine bottles. With corks. The cheapest you have. Ooh, the cheapest. Yes. Ooh, well, I'll just give you some water skins then. Oh, I mean, water skins are reusable, right? Uh, they can keep you alive. <laughs> I would like to be kept alive. Yes. Let's see here. How much are water skins? It's a gear. Okay, yes. Yes. He says, uh, a gold a piece. Very well. Eight gold pieces. Eight gold pieces it is. Nice doing business with you, sir. Is there anything Likewise. else you'd be interested in? Healing potions, uh, greater healing potions, superior healing potions, and of course, the supreme... He's really trying to build this up, like, hey, you should buy my potions. All right, uh, how much are the potions? A uh, hundred gold a piece. Four. Hundred gold. Common, the healing common. That is a lot of gold that I do not have. Oh, well, tough tiddlywinks. <laughs> I thought <laughs> you were a man of... And he, like, looks at the back of your cart. Oh, I, I see you don't have... Oh, well, I'm sorry. Four pieces, that's like enough. It lasts like a hundred years. Oh, this can save your life, good sir. And not only that, but it can save others' lives. 
This isn't this fake honey ale crap you get from the city of Alkaline. This is real, real healing potions. You know what? Like, do you sell honey ale? I do not. No, we don't have honey out in the desert. We do have desert but flowers, like, but no, no. Tell me about this, uh, this, this uh, poison you got. Oh, yes. Come closer, my friend. Uh, you notice, like, when you're like, yeah, tell me about this poison. He's like, yes, for only 200 gold pieces, you can buy this nice, wonderful manticore poison. He, like, shows you, like, this bottle. He, like, kind of, like, hides it from the guards. He's like, yes, I, I sold a shipment not too long ago to the city of Alkaline. I'm sure some nobles will be poisoning some more nobles. How, how does it work? Is it contact poison, or is it a... Oh, a few drops in someone's, he like, looks over at your water skins, and it should do the job. Or at least put them in a world of pain. Hmm. That's a lot of money. So, uh, you know, thank you for your time, but uh, I, I, I'm i afraid I, I cannot afford such luxurious uh, expenses. Ugh, cheapskate. Well, when you do come up with some money, do you think of me? Of course. And I would love some potions. Okay, so... But it's almost like... Is there, <laughs> it really is expensive. there a... Um, is there a... Uh, how you say stable here? I could just park my wagon in? Uh, so yes, you just left the stable master, William. Uh, you also see a blacksmith right here. Uh, the blacksmith, Williams. He has a sign out. He seems to be like, tink, 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 tink. But this seems to be the trading hub of this location. <laughs> Okay. And then, of course, you see the inn. Hey, um... You, Mr. Williams. Are you also Mr. Williams? No, this is Edward right here. Oh, so Edward. So the blacksmith with the forge going and everything else. It's like, oh, what are you doing, son? What what can I do for you? Uh, do you do repairs? Mm, I, of course, do repairs. Uh, just metal or like wood and parchment? I, there's no wood out in the desert, son. This is all metal. This is real stuff. Not that, uh, you want wood? You need to go into the, the, the Silver Mountains. No, no, I, I don't want to buy wood. I just need, I have a bow that I need fixing. Uh, what type of damage done to it? Can I take out the masterwork longbow out of the wagon? His eyes go wide as he recognizes the craftsmanship of the elves. He's like, not here, son. Uh, I don't know where you got that, but I wouldn't be showing that to any of the leaders. How did you get that? Did we miss it? Was it a gift? <laughs> um... I, I'm not going to get very confident in my deception. I'll be like, uh, what, are, what are the rangers called again? The rangers, rangers of, of Sidna. Sidna. Um, I'm afraid I was attacked by a, a ranger of Sidna. Well, you are human, so that does kind of make sense. Were you trespassing on our lands? Uh, no, they stole my horse. Oh. That's strange. You know, this tensions between humans and elves hasn't been great lately. He like shrugs, that. he's like, I don't know. <laughs> he's like, up here, I've... we don't get many elves. Every so often a trader will come through if they make it through the... In this desert, an inquisition and monsters out there. Haven't seen folks nice. like you in a while. You Is this guy not human? Oh yeah, he's very much human. But don't forget, um, they're on the outskirts. They don't get a lot of information. 
So they just got out the uh, the city of Alkaline. Oh, you just came from there. That's true. Yeah. How many days? Like seven days, I think. In about a week or so. Yep. Yeah. So what's I been saw happening a wyvern. There? What's been happening? However, what? Just flew overhead, and I was like, "Wow, okay." I see that every day. That's insane. What's going on, I wonder, out there? This is why I live in town, not in the outskirts. Get all types of crazies. Actually, maybe you do uh, know something. Do you know the ranges of, like, at all, or the ranges I, of Sydney? I've heard of them. Uh, if you want to know more about them, you should speak to the uh, council member, Eladora. Eladora, okay. Yes. I will make sure to do that. Uh, but, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to cross swords with her if you know what's good for you. Trust me, I, uh, I don't want to be crossing swords anymore. Oh. I just want to have a nice... Uh, relaxing, sleep in a nice bed, I think. He, like, nods in reply. He says, well, the inn's right there. So, um, before I go, I have a strong box that I need opening. Do you think you could do that? I, yeah, I could work on it. Okay. I will take it out of the car and put it on the desk. Excellent. You will have to show it, it to is me. A... It will take some time for him. For the blacksmith to open it. it is a dark wood strong box oh he just opens it up <laughs> it's like there's Wait, that nothing wrong with this one it wasn't locked no you mean this whole time yeah i've just been carrying it around <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice dark wood lock. yeah he just opens it Wait, up <laughs> there's no there's no <laughs> what does I... it say locked no okay uh... <laughs> well now I feel let me check that because I'm pretty sure there was a locked thing I mean you have acid don't you so I mean you should have been able to crack that thing open although it is dark so yeah. you can't uh, use acid on it APC 16 lock that's what it says on it excellent so it's a dark uh, it's on the notes Uh, that's inside of it. 100 and, uh, 1,300 silver pieces and a dark wood uh, strong box. Oh, okay. That so is the assumed... treasure. <laughs> so I just the lock like to uh... open it, right, would be a DC-16 lock. Right, right. So that's where all the silver pieces have been. I guess Adron just has opened it at some point with acid. I, you tell me. Uh, the silver I mean, lock would have broke had you have used acid. However, the chest would have remained perfectly fine. Could it's you actually resistant to acid? Could you give it a new lock and a key? Uh, of course I could. I'm a blacksmith. Nice what type of lock do you want on it? What type of me mechanic mechanism do you want? Uh, just a simple key, I think. I'm not very locking key. proficient in locks. So he like goes over and like picks up like this like simple lock and key and he hands it to you and he's like, There you go. <laughs> this is okay, really cheaply made. Key? The DC of it is only like ten. I was hoping for something a little bit more uh robust. He's like, Well th that takes time and I need the dimensions of the, the chest in order to Are you going to leave it here overnight for me to work on? Uh, sure. I'll empty out for you. Uh, you can I do see. what you want to. Let's see here, lock. E locks. So he says it'll be one gold piece for the lock. Done. It'll be a DC sixteen. It'll be the exact same thing of what it is. It'll be one gold piece. Okay. Take it. It will take him all night to do it. 
Right. That's and understandable. Box. Mark off the gold. Gold piece. Right, smart. <laughs> Shopping trip. And you now have lock. So put down Darkwood uh, lock, uh, lock strong box uh, with a DC 16 lock. I mean, you've got it there already. But, yeah. but now it's fully but, operational. And, yep. So I'll go check in. It's nice to see you, Mr. Ed. I'll go see. check my horse into the stables. I, uh, yeah, just head over to the stable master. Even in your blind state, you can still see this orb. Really? That is interesting. It looks like is a it, small it just... sun just... So, uh, Mr. Williams. Uh, what can I do for you? Do you mind if I... Can, can my horse stay here for the night? Do you mind if I do that? Uh, of course. How much uh, copper are you going to give me? How long are you staying? Uh, how much? I think, you know, just until tomorrow, I think. Uh, it'll be one copper. And he gestures over for the orcs to come and uh, take the horse. Be careful. Joe is very easily spooked. Oh, uh, let's see here. They're helping each other. And don't touch yeah, the stuff in the cottage. Yeah, it's not a problem. So the orcs just come up and just like, like they've dealt with horses before. Uh, they're actually helping him. Um, they're trying to make a good impression on the people here. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, All right, with that. Uh, hey, Will. What's the deal with the big glowy thing in the center? Oh, uh, what about it? How to get here? What is it? He like shrugs. He's like, I have no idea. It's, it's, it keeps this place safe. Has it always been here, or did since, they find it like this? Since I've been here, that's been pretty much all my life. What do you call it? Uh, I, they call it the White Flame for some reason. I mean, the I can see flame. why, but I mean, it's pretty obvious. But they call it the white flame. It's kind of weird. The white flame. Interesting. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for the information. I, I'll go pick myself a room. Yeah, you you, see, you think that he's like unimpressed, but he's like, yeah, the tourists always love it. Blah blah blah. <laughs> tourists come from all oh, over. They always it. ask me about this crap over and over again. Yep. Just read a goddamn book for once, you tourists. <laughs> So you come inside, and then you see uh, the barkeeper uh, come up to you and says, What can I do for you, lad? A room for one, please. Oh, my name is Aura. Of course. Uh, we have a room right here for you. Uh, will you be staying for long? As in, is this, is this lady an elf? Uh, no, she's not an elf. She's very much human. <laughs> it's just the same name as Aura. Uh, do you laugh at her name? I mean, I, I don't laugh. I'm just like raising an eyebrow to check if she has pointy ears. Uh, you can do knowledge uh, history. Other people have the same name. Crazy. Uh, yeah. Uh, you also know that uh, Aura was once a famous uh, hero who had uh, vanquished a dragon. So there's legends and lores of this uh, hero uh, of a woman uh, going around vanquishing dragons. Well, uh, lead the way, or uh, she leads you over and up. Uh, let's see here, what time of day is it? Uh, you come across a strange sight. You see a human with the Inquisition garb on him. You see a boar elf. You see a 
large cane toad sitting on his lap. You see a knoll. You see a uh, elf ranger. And in the middle of the room uh, is sleeping is a massive uh, 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 silver dragon. She says, uh, just uh, and she gestures. Uh, the, they were apparently having a conversation, and they all stop, and they all turn to look at you. <laughs> Adron is, like, hyperventilating. Like, <laughs> uh, hi. Um, so they all, like, like nod at you. Aura. Aura. She's like, yes. Why is me. Why is there a dragon? Uh, so yes, this is the first time that uh, you have seen a creature, and this is a real legitimate dragon. This isn't some uh, fake, uh, fake uh, creatures, and it's clearly asleep. Um, she's just like, shh, come on, don't disturb him. And Are these guys? She leads you past them. She's like, they're the they're so cool. Shh, shh. And she leads you to their to your room. And this is where we're going to end it. <laughs> and this is where we're going to end it. Uh, right where we began in... Uh, what was it? Uh, I don't the gamblers. even know. Right in the, the gambler's, gambler's story. Way. Yep, right in the gambler's story. Um, so we will see you guys in the next episode. And we will start figuring out what's, what's going on, what's happening. Am I a level six? You That's are level six. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! It's just. Yeah. <laughs> you made that was, it. That was quite an adventure. So, yep. You've almost got all your crap back. Almost. 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 Uh, something yeah, that I, I forgot to mention about the. Uh, uh, to the mercenaries. Is that you? Yep, the gold. I mean, you, I figured he would have spent the money by now. So it's like, yeah, if you find a hundred gold pieces, could you just save that for me, please? That'd be great. I mean, you didn't mention it. You should have said something. I've got it's a very fine. specific. I, I've, <laughs> I've already written it off. It's like I'm not getting that back. Okay. All right. I've already sold the rapiers and the um, leather. And that's made it back, I think. So this thing's a weapon. Well, yeah. I mean, they're weapons of war. So uh, weapons and armor and stuff are not common, right? Uh, even the bandits that you see are just like light armor and stuff like that. So it's not uh, like when you see someone decked out in armor, it's a big thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, that guy, don't want to mess with him. Uh, yeah. Did you have fun? <laughs> That was really fun. I, right. It went from like the, the scary to like the scary. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad to be level six. Be less squishy. Um, and of course, we will see you folks in the next episode. Everything has been recording. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye. All right. I'll see you later.